here with Mason Krause of East Mills Boys Basketball. Mason, uh, pretty hard-fought game there on the road, 58-55 win over Riverside. Just give me your overall thoughts on it. I mean, it was a win. Um, I was pleased with our effort tonight, but, you know, games like that, they're going to help us down the, down the road. And, like, last night, Corona was the same. And it was good to get Braden back and see what he can do because he was sick yesterday. Yeah, talk about that. Uh, you know, you guys were leading by, you know, 8, 12, 10, uh, and then eventually Riverside was able to just make a push and, and make it really close there at the end. How were you guys able to stay focused? Well, I mean, Grady Jepson's a great player. I mean, if he would have fouled out, I mean, that game would have been a lot closer. And, uh, I mean, we rotate a lot of guys. A lot of guys know what they're doing, and uh, we just play as a team. Jepson had 27, you had 26. Uh, do you guys kind of, do you enjoy a, a game like that where you're just kind of going back and forth with the player? Oh yeah, great competition. Like last year, it was always Carter Johnson and me, and it's always fun to play someone like that. What was working for you tonight offensively? I mean, dribble drive was there, a lot of left-hand shots, uh, made a couple threes, free throws were falling, it was just a good all-around game. You cap off the week uh, with a win, uh, still have a couple weeks to go in the regular season. What, what are you guys going to work on uh, as, as you get closer and closer to the postseason? Uh, definitely free throw shooting. We're shooting under 50% of the team, which is pathetic. But uh, you know, hopefully we can make strides in that, shooting threes better. And we got West Harrison Monday, so it should be a hard fight game. Yeah, talk about that. Uh, you know, two of, two of the premier 1A teams on this side of the state. Um, sounds like it's going to be a pretty exciting game. Just kind of talk about uh, what your mentality is going in. I mean, we got to play physical. That's what West Harrison is. they got guys all around. And uh, even when we take away the three guys, King, Evans, and Evans, they still got guys who can shoot three. So we just got to, you know, play our best to have a chance to win. Moving forward, uh, you know, just, just talk about the goals for this team. Uh, we definitely want to make a run in districts and, uh, you know, finish the regular season out top. Hopefully only two or three losses. All right, Mason, congrats on the win. Thanks for the time. Appreciate Here's it. Kevin Schaefer, head coach of East Mills Boys Basketball. Coach, hard fought win on the road there, 58-55 over Riverside. Just kind of give me your overall thoughts on that one. Evenly matched teams. Both of them have really good players. Uh, Jefferson's a load. Uh, they have other kids you really have to be aware of. Uh, we had a the Bell kid. We didn't want to leave him on the arc alone. And so you have to chase him around. Uh, I don't know how you pronounce his name, but the Sailor's kid or whatever. Um, really good ball player at the point, handling the ball. Uh, re really impressed with their team and how they play. And. Uh, it was, it was good for us. At this time of the season, we need these type of games. And uh, like I said, very evenly matched. We always respect them because we know you can throw out the records. Uh, their competition in uh, Western Iowa. Uh, you know, our record would be much different if we were in that conference, and we're well aware of that. And so we really respect their program. Talk about uh, your team. What did you do tonight that you, guys, that you liked out of your performance? Well, I thought our defense, for the most part, was good. Uh, we've had a few errors, but that's going to happen. We thought we'd have an edge on the rebound on the boards, and, and I think we did. And we hit shots, some key shots when we had to. Um, bad part, you know, there at the end, we had some opportunities maybe to stretch the lead, and instead we could almost let them back in the game. So that was a concern, but again, that's good for us to be in these type of situations. What's it like to have uh, two players like Mason Kraus and Grady Jepson on the floor at the same time, just trading blows back and forth? Like I said, different type of players, but both very effective players. And, uh, and um, I think both of them make their teammates better, and, and that's a special quality. What do you have to say about this team being able to bounce back on a back-to-back, -back, uh, two games on the road, losing last night, being able to come back tonight and win? What does that say about the squad? Well, we were fortunate that Braden didn't play last night. He was sick, and uh, we didn't know he came to school a little bit late, so we were kind of concerned was he going to be back tonight, and we needed his length out on the floor. So that was a big lift for us. Um, yeah, both games, according to that, went right down to the wire, and so tonight, uh, tonight did as well. And, and like I said, both games, thanks to our AD for putting those type of games on our schedule and making us better here at the end of the season for the tournament. Yeah, Mason uh, just mentioned that you guys got to work on free throw shooting, uh, shooting under 50% as a team. I'm sure you already know that, but how do you, how do you fix that? I mean, what, what's kind of the, the strategy into, into trying to, to you know, bring that number up as the postseason gets closer? Just hoping they go up to the line with confidence because sometimes their body language isn't good. And, you know, I've told some of them, either you have good body language and believe you're going to make it or I'm going to have to take you out and put somebody else in. Um, if you're going to be aggressive driving the basket, basket you got to make some of your free throws. That's just how it is. Uh, um, but, uh, you know, put time in, whether it's before school, weekends, um, extra in practice, and just really focus on your, on your routine.
Moving forward, uh, lastly, your coach, just just talk about you know what you guys are going to work on. Obviously, a huge game against West Harrison, uh, non-conference on Monday night should be a lot of fun. Right. Uh, just talk about you know what what are the goals for these last few games of the regular season? Last year we weren't competitive with West Harrison, so I hope on Monday night we can be. They are. I told the kids we're running into the beast that is West Harrison, and they are a beast. They've got, I think, three seniors that have got over a thousand points. I think uh, Sage Evans, career assists, career rebounds. I mean, it's. Uh, I watched them last year at the sub-state game against Avoca. They're just a really good team, and you can tell they're driven. They want, they want to get back to Des Moines. And uh, they've improved, which is very impressive because they were really good last year. Um, and then, they, you know, Sage's dad does a pretty good job coaching them as well. And um, so we'll have our hands full, there's no doubt about it. And I just I hope we go into that game with the right mindset and ready to compete for four quarters. All right, Coach, thanks for the time. Congrats on the win. Thank you.